So DHEA and pregnenolone are both hormones that I prescribe. They're not really prescribed conventionally by your normal GP. One, because they're unlicensed, which means they're not made by a drug company. Uh, in certain countries, such as the US, you can actually just buy them over the counter. But I don't think that that's actually a good idea because I think that it does require testing and monitoring. So pregnenolone is known as the mother hormone. It's the hormone from which all the other hormones are made. So for example, for myself, after I had COVID a few years ago, all my hormone levels were quite low and trust me, I was feeling it as well. So I decided to take some pregnenolone so it would boost my natural production of all the other hormones such as progesterone, testosterone and estradiol. In its own right, though, some people find pregnenolone very good for focus, concentration and memory. And I certainly find it helpful and so do a lot of my patients. The other thing I look at is DHEA, and this is with most of my patients. DHEA is also a precursor hormone that can help your body make more testosterone and estrogen. But in its own right, I call it the vitality hormone. It gives you a bit of joie de vivre, a bit of get up and go, a bit of oomph and spark. And even if you have a bit of that, who doesn't want a little bit more? However, somebody asked me recently if they could just buy it online and take it without a blood test. And I think that's a really bad idea. And the reason for this is it's a steroid hormone. So if your level is already good and you take more DHEA, you end up with things like acne, greasy skin, spots, and in very rare cases, a little bit of hair fall. And none of us want that. That's definitely not what we're aiming for. So I always check the levels in my patients because if their DHEA level's good, I don't give it to them because I don't want them to get the nasty side effects. But I also titrate the dose. The lady in question asked if she could take 25 milligrams a day. No, not a good idea without doing a level. But actually, I would say I only have a handful of patients taking 25 milligrams or more a day. Most of my, my patients take between five milligram, which is more for women who are still having a cycle and we're just trying to enhance natural production. So maybe five to 10 milligram. And in menopause, maybe up to 15 milligrams. Now, DHEA can also be used in fertility. And in these cases, women sometimes are recommended to take higher doses, such as up to 75 milligrams. But again, this should be done with guidance and testing. So bullet points, DHEA, great, fantastic. I find it very beneficial for myself also, but needs to be done with close monitoring. So I hope you found that helpful.